the loved ones with the core root of being an incarnated soul honoring our souls.
just looks like then I repeat. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Our true divine within tells us to embrace the possibilities, embrace the experiences, see them as blessings and not mistakes, see them as positives as sacred options that have opened up new venues and new doors and new options that have somehow safeguarded us and protected us from something that maybe wasn't supposed to happen in those ways. When we take, when we take acknowledgement of our inner, our actual inner feelings, our, our love, our heart, then we acknowledge our soul. We acknowledge that our soul is connected to our heart and that our consciousness is as well. And we dive into that, some of us. Some of us are like, ah, eek. And some of us are like, okay, let's do this. Let's love each other. Um, and let's all get together and love each other. So what right now is happening is that there's many who are awakening into the realization and the acceptance to love and to be loved. And maybe before they were very protective of themselves experiencing that but they're starting to be more sensitive and aware of who to trust and who not to. So it's very easy to create very quick relations, very close, fast connections, and being gentle with that, giving, giving honor um, to the experiences, but also just not thinking that the reason that you remet each other is for intimate reasons, but acknowledging that there's, that there's a bigger reason to the meetings that we have together. Um, filling into the soul's worth, raising the door to value, means that we are being careful who we share our bed with. And says that we're being careful of, of who we allow in the close space that is our close space, because right now we are healing and growing and transforming and ascending and becoming the best way that we're meant to be. So in this journey, we have to make sure that we have healthy relationships around us. If there's beings who are being reactive and overreactive and it just doesn't feel comfortable, then acknowledge they're on it, they're on their journey, they're gonna they're gonna get to a point where they're not so reactive, but they have to do a lot of healing. So if you're in a situation, if you're in the experience where they're focusing that on you, you need to get into a safe experience so you're not just going through that because it's not really like you signed up for that. It's not like a thing like, oh you you have to go through that. Um, if you're supposed to to be in each other's presences and be together, there, there must be a way to be happy together. And if that's not being felt in those moments, in those ways, then there has to be a change. Um, I pray that this is really reaching you to the depths, those of you who've been going back and forth in those kinds of experiences, and it's really um, starting to, to be too much. I want you to acknowledge that you have self-worth and there's door to value and there's options. There are solutions. And the ones who are meant to be with us shall come to us and be with us. And not in the same ways. They won't just come off share the bed, you know. Accepting the solution of I am worthy.
looking at the third eye, some of you want to be activated. That you know about right now. Right now we're working through a huge, huge transformation because there's so many who are being forced to wake up. Sorry, I might be to fall out a little bit. Really tight dress. Um, so many being forced to wake up and feel into acceptance. And it's as if their eyelids were ripped like upwards and they just can't even close their eyes because if they do, they feel like they'll miss something. I shall look once to all. Oh, hi, Simon. It's nice to see you, my darlings. It's beautiful to see you, Kayla, darling, also. Greetings to you. Thank you, Robert, for being present. Hi. Hi, Dave. Hey, guys. It's beautiful to see you, too, Robert. Greetings, so far. I missed you. It's nice to see you again. They even see me run around playing football and football sometimes. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Um, wow, my heart is so happy right now. And keep bringing in some more light to bring in light some more. who are sick and need healing, those who are going through devastations, 
those who've recently been robbed from, those who are working on getting stability, abundance, prosperity, and income, those who are working through um, custody cases as, as the parent who really cares, and the other parents trying to buy off others to do things for them, having confidence and trust and faith that and belief that it's not possible for them to hustle things in those ways. That the judges care and are wise and smart and not foolish and can see through their dirtiness and that they will do something about it against the other who's trying to drive others to do their bidding. That it's very obvious and very seen and very noted and that something very serious will change in the court systems for the children who are meant to be in a safe household and safe experiences with parents who actually care and who are not trying to harm them on purpose. Who are not trying to teach them to lie. Who are not harming them psychologically, emotionally, or physically in those ways without intention to harm. There has to be no intention to harm our children. And I'm praying for the children and the wholeness of children in all of creation, the child within us, the children who have been birthed, all of creation. Praying for the child within, that the little, yet very strong heart and soul that is growing brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter, and brighter through forgiveness and healing and acceptance, forgiveness and healing and acceptance, and that reverberates so expansively that it is very easy to see the solutions, that it is very easy to feel not alone, that it is very easy to get saved from the, the experiences that are that have been devastating to them and to the child within. Praying in a beautiful transformation, a very healthy change in consciousness and thought patterns and thought processing that it's not a burden to experience experiences after the healing has occurred that there is a change in the way that beings are able to open up and feel safe and comfortable opening up with others and removing their expectations and limitations and block blocking um, ideas that they are not able to do that, that we are not able to harm ourselves in such ways of expectations and limitations and self-sabotaging actions or addictions or habits, that we're able to heal ourselves and free ourselves from any and all persecutions of devastations, of habits, of addictions, of illnesses, of strife, of grief, of hatred, of trauma, that there's so much peacefulness inside, that there's not depression, that there's not anxiety, that there's not pain or suffering, that there's not addictions to such horrible things. But even the feeling within will change the diet, what is being received in a more pure diet, to be more organic than it was, to be more plant-based than it was, to do the research that's necessary to heal the vessel to have fast healing, naturally, pure ways, raising the vibration and the heart medicine for all creations. I meant to open this place. Such beautiful light washing through around the heart, awakening the soul expansion consciousness, feeling that through the neck, the back of the neck, through the front of the center, and then the Mohawk of light. Deep breaths of light, seeing the golden light, beautiful golden light shining. Thank you, my loves. Has to get easier. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of beings who are working on the acceptance of what happened and 
seeing the lesson and the experience is feeling the message and the experience, um, being aware of who's actually there as an uplifting force and light to hold the hand and uplift and, and who really um, wasn't and what they are working through and acknowledging that each of us are our experiences, what were you working through, acknowledging those who are able to communicate and be supportive in some ways. How did they treat you? What did you experience with them when they gave you advice, comfort, and consolations? Did you actually feel like it was going to continue, or do you feel like that's that? There's not necessary to have any more of that. Um, acknowledging the three or the two major things that happened, or the three and then seeing into the positive solutions that are coming. What are the positives that are present? What are all the positives that you can find that help heal, that are positively, epically awesome and amazingly blissful? What happened? Okay, so you're two. Um, I would do deep prayers um, to help through the experiences. It's gonna help so much. Oh, thank you, Michelle. That's so loving. Oh, oh I'm like, I want to do that and I want to do that. I want to do both. Thank you. Oh, love you too. Oh. Yeah. Greetings, Albert. Greetings, greetings. It's nice to see you. heart medicine we're working into. So much is happening to so many of us. And there is a lot of things happening really quickly that are really positive. And we have to be ready to do what we have to do to make sure that everything is okay. Oh, Camille. That's very lovely. Appreciation. We have to find a way to forgive through our experiences also. Like some moments we do things that that we have to forgive ourselves for. And it's a lot to forgive ourselves. But it's really easy when we're not pointing our finger at somebody else, blaming them. When you actually look at it and identify what part of us has to heal too. It takes two to tango and maybe if both of you are walking on the Maybe if oh, there's a visitor out there, maybe if two of you are working on that experience together, then you can comprehend that you're both healing on similar areas. Maybe that's why it seems so, so big and so extreme is that you both have sensitive areas in, in those categories that you're so sensitive on. And um, that has to be healed through. You could do it in a hermit mode or you could do it together. Um, that's been happening for some while they work through their communications to heal um, their, their hearts to feel comfortable um, being together or not being together. And it's really a choice um, when it comes to that. Each soul has a choice, each, each heart has experiences and however far it is that you got on that healing journey, are you ready for a relationship or are you not yet? Um, and it, it does take some peacefulness, some calm. Thank you all. And it takes a lot. Wow. There's the acceptance and there's the forgiveness. So working with acceptance, forgiveness, self-worth, and then the right to choose. The right to choose. Even if somebody, like there's experiences where maybe it's just so much, it's just too much for certain beings to experience um, their re what their, seems like their reality. They think that's their reality. They feel stuck, they feel trapped, and they feel like their limitations help them feel safe. Um, when in reality, 
their limitations are limiting them. Their expectations are not helping them to have connections that are real, that are really supposed to be there um, in those ways because they're disregarding their inner knowingness, their inner feelingness to replace that with a, a um, survival tactic of expectation and of limitation of safe box. It's easier if you take the walls or the roof off to expand that energy so it's not all boxed in. If you, if you have a box and you need to be free and fluid, are you gonna keep that box together? No, you're probably gonna to have to open up some of the parts of that box so that box can float in a, in a way where it can be fluid, where it can have waters running through, um, depending on the type of box it is, obviously. Um, but you have to be able to allow yourselves to be free, to be fluid, to be floaty if you need to be. Not always um, rooted solely in Gaia, but expand it because we are reincarnated. We are souls that have been into multiple constellations. We are galactic light beings. We are the soul light shining. We are soul tribe. We are soul family. And guaranteed, we remember each other. Like that's, that's probably why it's so easy because those of us who are awakened and awoke, some of you say, we remember each other, we remember being reincarnated, we remember coming into it, we remember being part of the beginning part, parts of creation's experiences. And we have to find our inner truth and our inner guidance and our divine feelingness to break away from the mind's confusions, illusions, and self-sabotaging behaviors based on old heart um, trauma. And when I say that, I say that in remembrance of the child within, the experiences, what you went through, and how you had to just go into survival mode, and what it felt like to do that, what it felt like to witness and experience things and not have the others to talk to about that. Um, even if you did have others to talk to about that, did you tell them everything, or did you feel shamed or guilty, or like you couldn't talk to them about everything? Um, so finding a way to heal through that is writing it out. What happened? What happened to you, my loves, to get you so hurt? And how, how can you release that? With writing, you can write over, it was not okay that that happened, over the writing of what happened. Because you saying, it was not okay that that happened to me, I released that experience. You're saying, okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna release that. I'm gonna release that because I don't have to hold on to that. It's like, it's like going fishing and then you catch the fish, you're like, oh, I love and honor you, you're beautiful, and then you release it, you know? Um, but then it has a hole in its lip from the experience, you know, because that was like kind of a trauma for the fish. Um, but there's that release, that release is a relief. And you have to be able to feel into, okay, well, there's the relief part, how do I heart heal and make sure that I'm protected and, and totally safe from going through that same trauma again? And it's by identifying the feelings inside. If the feelings inside say, no, stay away from that, then you should probably stay away from that. I learned that like in some experiences and I learned to not curiously look into the details of of who they are, why they reappeared in our other incarnations, and who they represent in the experience, pre experience presently, because they're they're not they're not who they were. They they're not the the spouses that I had then. They've been reincarnated, yeah, but they're not the same at all, and they're not even on the same level. So I I learned not to allow myself to waste my moments that I can be utilizing to save creation and to do purposeful actions, to be of purpose and cause and action with those who are not supposed to be around me. Um, because of the warning signs that I got, I have to listen to those messages um, and heed those warnings to honor my soul. And each of us have to do that. We must honor our souls. If we have warnings like in our hearts, if everything in us is saying, it's okay, it's okay, then it's okay. But if there's parts of us that feel like, ooh, and then there's like visions of like, 
Like you got to be careful. Is that something from the past incarnations? Is that something from the present experiences? Is that something that has to do with past trauma in the relationship? If it has to do with that and you can both remember your Akashic experiences, then that's something that you can move forward on healing with together and talk about it and work through that like a therapy session together. What do you remember? What do you remember being there? What do you remember the smells? What was the food? What was the environment? What was the experience? And what happened? And was that an experience that was in another incarnation also? And how to heal that and release that cord of persecution and bring in healing, soothing, salving, so that that doesn't continue to reverberate and reiterate. It's not our responsibility to take care of their, their stuff that they're working through, but we can, us releasing that energy from us, from them, is us freeing them from that energy because now they don't have somebody to suck to suck energy on or to harm they they're just going to cause themselves to get exhausted and tired and the experience and they just won't have it in them to continue to to try and core to attack both places you said reincarnated oh um you're asking what the word descent um, I believe that I do not like that word at all. I don't like it because of the books that were written. Oh. The books, oh, what is there see? Okay, it's saliva. Okay. The books that were written um, about one of the incarnations that I, I do. Um, remember about many of my incarnations, but one of them in particular, the communication um, and the title of the book said Descent. And when I read that, I remembered from the light into a place that was kind of red. Um, red and there was, there was like, it kind of looked like charcoal, brimestone. It was, it was beautiful, but it was, it was not all light and flowery and things like that. Um, I believe it has to do with a soul that I needed to reunite with and wanted to meet with me and that there was, I was able to come into the light again, but that that being wanted me to visit also and be close. Um, for some, when they lessen, when they lessen, their door to value, or if it's not even a lessening, when they just choose to go to another level where those beings are working on another vibration, that's considered a descent. Um, but we're not supposed to descend to meet them. We're supposed to remain ascended and be able to integrate with them without having to descend to integrate. Um, I believe that in the experiences and the teachings and the lessons, we learn not to descend. We continue to be ascended and ascending and heightened and lightened and uplifted and free and open and healed and confident and comfortable in our transformations enough to not descent into the experiences with the others that we are experiencing with or being there to guide and help um, just because they're maybe just because they're smoking um, a blunt and they're passing around doesn't mean that you have to smoke the blunt with them um, if they're smoking a cigarette, it doesn't mean that you have to smoke a cigarette. If they're worshiping somebody that you don't want to worship, it doesn't mean you have to worship that somebody that you don't feel like you're supposed to worship. Um, if you don't want to go hiking, you don't have to go hiking. You can go to something else. If you want to go swimming, go swimming. You know, there's multiple options, but we should not um, change the, our, our perceptions and our ways to accommodate somebody else. Um, and I believe that, that that word descent represents that, just that the accommodation of, of changing to accommodate another's um, comfortability. And as beings of light and of love, we must acknowledge our worth. As beings of light and love, we must acknowledge our feelings, our emotions, our consciousness, our journey, our growth, our lessons, our transformations. Of who we are but also going deeper than that seeing into the expansive the expansive bigger picture not the little picture the bigger picture like the supreme picture of 
why we have reunited and it really does open up our eyes to trusting each other in another type of way a type of way that allows us to really look into each other as loved ones as loved ones and loved ones not like ooh, i want to shag you loved ones loved ones like i love you my beloved my loved ones and that way such a deep, pure love that's real, that's everlasting and unconditional. I love your souls from the spark of which you began. And I, and I embrace and appreciate and love those of you who are open and healing and transforming. And those of you who are not yet, I love you and I believe in you. And it's going to be okay. We're going to get through these experiences on top. Healed, heart healed, souls vibrant, shining. And we're ready to release, to heal. Release the pains and the devastations and the sufferings. May the bodies, may the vessels, may the inners and the outers heal vibrantly, light shining with our soul's happiness and bliss. We love you. We love who we be you. Okay, bye. Good early. Pray for me to see my lawyer tomorrow.